Hi, Dr. Biology here, and this is looking at DNA, mRNA, and tRNA, and looking at their similarities and differences. So these molecules are really important in protein synthesis. So I'm gonna go through protein synthesis in another video, uh, but they do like to ask you about what the similarities and differences are between these particular molecules. So I've got a really good way of remembering, um, but here we go. So first things first, that is what we're gonna look at. We're gonna compare and contrast the molecules of DNA, mRNA, and tRNA, particularly and solely in eukaryotic cells. Okay, so if we look at DNA, now you would have done about DNA in the biological molecule section of work, but we'll just remind ourselves of the key features and those include, they are double-stranded, okay, so two sugar phosphate backbones in an anti-parallel direction. They're only found, DNA is only found in the nucleus within chromosomes. It contains the molecule deoxyribose sugar it contains thymine, and that's quite important in a minute when I talk about mRNA and tRNA. So it contains the four bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. But thymine is the important one here in DNA. It also contains hydrogen bonds that are um, basically attaching the bases, and there are other bonding structures in there for DNA as well. Okay, mRNA, so mRNA here, um, mRNA is produced as part of the transcription process of protein synthesis, um, and that's where a copy of the DNA code is made. And the uh, key features include that one, it is single-stranded. Secondly, it's found in the nucleus, so it's actually made in the nucleus when it trans, uh, transcribes the code, the genetic code, and then it travels through a nuclear pore into the cytoplasm and to a ribosome. It contains ribose sugar, and it contains uracil instead of thymine, so it has A, U, C, and G. And difference to DNA, there are no hydrogen bonds because it is single-stranded. The next molecule is tRNA. Now, tRNA is very important in terms of the translation of the mRNA code um, to allow amino acids to be joined together to form polypeptides and proteins. So you tend to find them uh, in the cytoplasm, in the ribosome, and they are bringing the amino acids to the ribosome to join together and create proteins. So key features include they are single-stranded, they are found only in the cytoplasm, they contain ribose sugar, they contain uracil again, so A, U, C, and G, and the, but they contain hydrogen bonds because you can see that it has this kind of clover leaf um, structure, so it joins together. Um, and you can see on the bottom there, you have this thing called an anticodon, uh, which is a code and it's complementary to the mRNA. So um, basically the triplet code can then code for a particular amino acid. Right, so how on earth do we remember all this? Because it's quite a lot of information. Well, I do like to use with my students, I use a Venn diagram. So here's a Venn diagram. So look at the similarities and differences. So first of all, let's look at DNA and RNA. Okay, so this is using your knowledge that you've just seen. Um, so it could also be mRNA as well. So what I would like you to do is pause and have a go yourself and see how you get on. Okay, so let's have a look at the answers. Okay, so DNA only contains deoxyribose sugar, double stranded, found only in the nucleus, and contains thymine. RNA only contains ribose sugar, single stranded, and it contains uracil. And both of them, they contain nucleotides, and it contains G, C, and A. Right, okay, so let's do um, a three circle Venn diagram. Okay, so we can bring in tRNA as well. So I'm gonna give you a clue with this one to make it a bit easier. Um, only one statement goes in one particular part of the Venn diagram. So again, 
what I would do is pause it, have a go yourself, and then we'll go through the answers. Okay, so DNA only is double-stranded deoxyribose sugar, and it's only found in the nucleus. mRNA only is the no hydrogen bonds. tRNA only is not in the nucleus. And then if we look in DNA and mRNA, they are both found in the nucleus, whereas DNA and tRNA, they both contain hydrogen bonds. And then RNA only is single-stranded ribose sugar uracil. Okay, and then all of them, they contain nucleotides. I hope you found that video useful. Please do look out for my next video on protein synthesis. I'll see you soon.